Hey guys, this is Shaft with the Clan Inc. Casting Crew, and I am excited to be bringing to you this very next game. This is between two really big names in the North American server. I'm sure most people who click this video are going to know of at least who one of these guys are. Both of them are personal heroes of mine. So without any further ado, we're just going to hop right on in to this game here on the top right hand side of Neo Planet S. It's our red. Zerg player playing for Team Root. It's cats! That relatively unknown play on Broadway canceled in 2000 sometime that I have no idea. Okay, and here on the bottom left hand side of the map, it's our blue Protoss player, the newly married big hulk of a man. It's EG's in control. Alrighty guys, uh, this is one hell of a map actually if you'll notice there is no Zelnaga Tower So for Zerg player, it's really hard to know exactly what's coming at you unless you've got lings uh, Buried all over the place with uh, just really scouting every little nuance of the map um, It's gonna be interesting to note whether Katz is gonna do some of his notoriously wonky play or if uh you know in control is going to be able to force him into just that more standard kind of style now cats is going to be scouted now by in control it looks like cats is actually moving out for a fast hatch no he's actually scouting so he wants to be super super safe you do not see zerg scouting in uh this matchup um but Katz is one of those few players who does still occasionally scout. The interesting thing about his scouting, though, is sometimes he's been known to throw up a proxy hatchery, and it looks like he might even be planning that, but he might be able to show up just before in control is going to have the money. He needs 400 minerals in order to build that nexus. Will Katz? be able to block this oh my god showing up at exactly the right time but it looks like in control already knows cats likes to do this kind of thing and is already ready with a pro block looks like a pylon block here at the natural of cats as well he's got to be careful not to take even a single more hit on that drone ah oh, yeah okay it will take two hits now so the drone is gonna get away Oh, so close, so close. Now, the pylon here was canceled, so it looks like he's going to rebuild it again. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No. No. Okay. So, yeah. Um, really weird uh, play here from Katz is he's still not trying to take his own expansion. What? What? Where is this <laughs> Where is this drone going? Why is there not a natural yet? <laughs> what? Okay, guys, uh, I have to be honest with you. I'm not really sure what Katz is planning here. <sighs> Katz and gold mineral patches. I don't know if you guys remember, but Katz used to advocate um, a proxy hatch built with gold. Is that what he's going for now? No, he's just hiding it. I don't... I don't, I, I don't understand why a natural has not been built for cats. This is some wonky kind of all-in. He's getting a lair. He's got uh, another extractor. I'm just trying to see the future, guys. Bear with me. Here's a proxy hatch. <laughs> cats. Okay, then. So, um... Guys, I, I'm learning about as quickly as you are. I've not seen this game. And I have no idea how Katz is supposed to follow this up. It's obvious he's not getting a bailing nest. Now, this this probe sees the two gases, sees the lair, sees that there's still no expansion. What? Dude, Jeff has got... In control has got to be like what is going on here he's already got that second cannon I would be surprised if he just doesn't do a complete wall off 
infestation pit? I thought we were going to see nidus worms. What? Guys, I'm not sure this is real life. I just want that to be public record. I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming here. Now we do have lings. No ling speed though. N ah, my brain is melting. No ling speed? Swarm hope. Okay, swarm hosts actually make a little bit of sense here. Uh, with this proxy hatcher, actually, he can do some spine crawlers as well and slowly march his way forward. This is going to hit at a time. One spine, one spore. <gasps> oh, I love it. Okay, so basically, here's what's going on the spore crawler is going to stop any observer from being able to see the swarm host burrowed in the ground. Oh, actually revealing the swarm host to this mothership core doesn't seem to even mind. Okay, so basically the swarm host being the ultimate siege unit ever is just going to go ahead and target down the front of this wall. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Alrighty then. So, um... Yeah, we're going to see some more swarm hosts just keep flooding forward. It's going to be a while before there's gateway units actually on the field. In fact, there's only one gateway, and that's at the front of this ramp. Now, there is a Stargate, not a Ribba, which is actually huge because there's not going to be any kind of observer to scout the swarm hosts. This is some brilliant, sick shit. Cat's just the, the king of not really caring. Whoa, and this forge is definitely going to die here shortly. Moving the spore crawler up even further. Now we've got a fourth cannon being started here. Looks like we've got void rays uh, trying to deal with the spore crawler. The spore crawler is going to go ahead and get transfused, but ultimately is going to die. But it is softened up quite a bit for these two queens. And we've got the infestors on the field now as well. Unfortunately, they do not have energy for path, uh, for fungal growth. No pathogen glands on the field. Yet, it, this has allowed the spine crawler to basically get in position. This is a variation on Nestie's build where, uh, you know, he was doing the spine crawler rush. This is actually going to uh, kill off the forge, kill off the gateway. Is there another forge to allow for more cannons? No, there's nothing. There is double stargate, however. Huh. Okay, so Mass Void Ray against Swarm Host, Spine Crawler, Queens, Infestors, Spore Crawlers, Queens, Infestors. Okay. Cats, you're crazy, bud. Still no expansion. Just bear that in mind, guys. Okay, how are we looking on Workers Killed, Two Workers Killed, Four Cats, EPM favoring Cats as well. Wonder how... <laughs> cost effective this actually is I mean uh, <sighs> wow yeah cats actually is being quite cost effective 450 mineral or well, resources lost for in control um, so hey I guess when you're this cost effective you can afford to um, not have an expansion unfortunately there are four void rays but uh, that are targeting down this hatchery this hatchery being the main supply uh, way the creep is getting spread, but it looks like fungal growth plus infester uh, Terran plus queens does really good job against this many void rays. Even more queens being produced here at this hatchery and continuing to push forward with swarm hosts. We've got a night of swarm coming as well, so he can rally forward whatever units he chooses to build. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is why Cats is my hero. This is why I want to grow up to be like Cats, guys. <laughs> Who the hell else does this? I I'm not sure this is even such a good strategy. This is just not what In Control was expecting ever. Ever. Whoa. Now imagine if Cats had tried to build that 
proxy hatch at the main at the natural and succeeded this would be even more devastating because right now you know in control has been able to mine off these four gases get the double star gate with mass void reproduction to even have a chance in this but imagine if he was only locked on the two bases this would not even be an option another stargate finishing up now as well wow fleet beacon on the way carriers it's possible two base carriers that's pro guys that's what you see at gsl code s kespa level all right so lots of cannons just chilling 22 kills for this cannon five for this one 20 for this one two for that one that's like the runt cannon and well with this much defense at a forward outpost there must not be very much at home or at least that's the logic that in control is using to go ahead and send his void rays right on into the natural we've got a layer becoming a hive so there's no telling what's next here for cats locusts just targeting down cannons now remember cannons do cost 150 minerals i think i believe it's 150 hold on let's double check yeah, 150 minerals, so every one of these that he can kill with just summonable units that really don't cost anything except for what the swarm host costed, this is huge. Now we do have really nice fungals and some pretty good queen micro here, uh, just targeting down the void race, but nice little recall here as well. And those units come out of limbo, moving right on forward, and uh, maybe they'll be able to hit from a different angle and do some damage at this outpost oh well it looks like they might even just be going what's the point of recalling and then going back i don't well anyways we've got some spore crawlers going up to help keep cat safe and looks like these locusts doing lots and lots of damage actually we've got tempest on the way tempest are a very strong unit kind of like the ultralisk of the sky for toss do 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 looks like there's a clicking talk on cats though because the fact remains this base is almost mined out and if he doesn't kill his opponent shortly it's kind of done okay i see what the knight is for it's to allow a quick escape route if need be as well as transportation of the queens across the map interesting place to all buy here by cats all right, so Void Ray Mothership Core going to be coming in at a different angle. Viper going ahead, absorbing the remaining HP from this hatchery, leaving it about 156 HP before Transfuse, of course. So basically Transfuse uh, giving the Viper energy at this point. Uh oh, looks like Viper going ahead, pulling uh, several Tempests on over Fungal Growth. Spore Crawlers doing amazing damage to this Tempest. Queens as well. Queens, got to be careful not to lose those, but majority of those cannons have been killed off uh, just by locusts alone, and more and more being sent in at the locusts. Wow. These swarm hosts have done so well. Let's see the kills on the swarm hosts now. Well, it looks like these are not the original swarm hosts. Um, he's lost quite a few, I suppose, but uh, still, these swarm hosts doing very, very well. Just, just just phenomenal stuff here. All right, so what's the deal with this hive? Why does having a hive help, hive help cats here? Uh-oh, killing off the Nidus Worm exit point. So now that's basically going to leave cats where he cannot send his queens uh, there to defend that base. That is huge. This may actually be the end of cats if he is not able to unload these the the nidus worm successfully into that base now he's gonna have to bunker in on this outpost he's got 500 or so minerals saved up uh so he's not gonna be able to continue to mine which means production is limited he's got to kill it now he's actually still picking off tempest tempest with a long range cannons being put on the high ground as well oh my god more cannons being morphed the thing is in control is still mining cats is not this is huge, but Cats can actually send his uh, his drones to go build bases <laughs> at what would typically be considered in control side of the map. Okay, Cats dropping the GG well played, sensing his defeat. 
dude, this came down to that Nidus worm dying. If that exit point had not been killed, cats would have been able to pump those queens continuously out of the Nidus worm, put the infestors there, fungal, infester, Terran, GG. What this came down to was killing that Nidus worm. Cats, that was sick, nasty. Dude, I'm totally doing that in my next CVP ladder game. Period. If you like this or other content by the Clanic Casting Crew, please hit subscribe and like here on YouTube. If you really like it, share it with your friends because remember, guys, here at the Clanic Casting Crew, every click counts. And in closing, guys, I want to uh, go ahead and say, as we say in my hometown, thanks for being awesome. Bye bye.